Hey everyone, it's Anna Variano from Perfect Resonance Natural Health Counseling. And um, this doesn't really have anything to do with nutrition, but I just thought you might be interested in seeing what I'm doing here. This is a Boston fern that I've had for about two or three years um, when it's nice outside in the summer and fall I keep it outside on our patio and in the winter I bring it inside I've done that for a couple of seasons now and um, it's getting really really pot bound it's in this little tiny pot so I'm going to um, do it a favor and I'm going to cut it in half and then transplant each half into a bigger pot so the roots will be happier and it can be healthier so you can see it just came right out of the pot and it's a big tangled mess of roots and actually some of the um, fronds that um, turn into leaves so I'm just using a serrated kitchen knife because um, it works really well and I'm literally going to cut this in half you can hear it's whole roots poor thing anyways start to spread it apart and it will get stuck because you can see that you know there the two sides are attached so I'm just going to keep cutting through that and ta -da, two ferns and I'm going to try and shake some of this dead stuff out pull some of the the brown fronds out give it a good shake so there we have it there's half and now what I've done is I've prepared this bigger pot for it. I've filled it full of potting soil. Nothing fancy, just potting soil I picked up at Canadian Tire. And I'm going to make a big hole in the middle. If you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to push all the soil out to the sides of the pot so that I make a hole for this guy. Give him a little shake, try and see where he's gonna fall. Cause he will grow like crazy now. And center him into the pot, push it down. And you kind of want the top of the soil and the new pot to be just at or a tiny little bit below um, the main, um, I guess, root bunch of it. And I've got the potting soil here because you do want to fill it up so just take handfuls of it throw it all around the side push it down make sure it's nice firm and in place all the way around and so it may look a little bit not as nice a little bit sad but give it some water and it is going to grow like crazy so I had three of these and I cut them all in half. So you can see I have, this guy still has to be potted, but now I have six smaller ferns that are in a happier, more spacious home, and it will take no time at all for them to fill out. So if you have a Boston fern that's looking a little sad, this is something super easy. It doesn't take very long to do. Just make sure you have some extra pots and enough potting soil and a nice sharp knife, and off you go. It's a great start to my weekend. Love gardening, it's very relaxing. Have a great one, everybody.